This is a half human, half go cute, but it has two mothers. In order to take it for herself, the adoptive mother killed the mother sheep, but the result was a deadly disaster, because the father sheep is not a simple origin. The story begins with the birth of the lamb. On a stormy night, all the sheep in the barn seemed to have seen something, and there was a hint of fear in their eyes. But then a ewe came out and lay down on the ground consciously. However, three months later, something strange happened. The owner of the sheep was delivering the ewe, and she gave birth to it a special baby sheep. Maria took the baby goat away and took care of it like a baby, feeding it and putting it to sleep. Ingawa even built a crib for the baby by herself. But since Maria took the baby goat, the mother goat hovers outside the window every day, as if she senses that her baby is inside. Maria ruthlessly chased her away every time. However, an accident happened. The couple came home one day and found the sheep missing. They searched the whole farm, but still couldn't find it. It turned out that Ada had been taken away by his mother. Maria hastily picked him up. Only then did I realize that Ada was actually a half-human, half-goat monster. The mother could only whisper and hiss, and the couple turned around and left with the baby sheep in their arms. Sheep mother desperately chase, but the response is, Father! She could only stand sadly in the same place. It turns out that this couple once had a lovely daughter, but an accident took their beloved away. When they saw the little lamb, they thought it was a gift from heaven, so they robbed him from his sheep mother. Ever since the sheep mother saw little Leia, she would stand outside the house every morning, calling for her child. However, these calls tortured Maria with nightmares every day. One day, Maria could no longer bear it and went out with a shotgun. She raised the gun and shot directly at the sheep mother. From then on, no one ever competed with her for her daughter again. So, Maria had a half-human, half-lamb daughter, and now that she had killed the sheep mother, she naturally became the little lamb's own mother. But all of this was seen by Peter, who had just returned. When Peter saw Ada, he was stunned, understanding Maria's strange actions earlier. Seeing this peaceful scene, he remained silent. After dinner, Peter still questioned his brother. That day, Ada looked at him curiously, and he handed her a handful of grass. Little Ada started eating it happily, but Ingawa saw this and picked up Ada in anger. At this point, Peter couldn't hold back any longer. But Ingawa just shook his head and walked away. In order to help his brother and his wife return to a normal life, Peter took Ada out while they were still sleeping. He even took the shotgun when he left, leading Ada deep into the prairie. Ada, naive as she was, followed her uncle, thinking that he was taking her out to play. But when they reached their destination, Peter raised his shotgun, looking at Ada's watery big eyes. Peter finally softened. When Maria woke up and found her daughter missing, she quickly got up to look for her, but was surprised to find Peter asleep with Ada in his arms in the living room. After this incident, Peter and Ada's relationship became better and better. Peter would take her out every few days. The couple watched this scene from their room and smiled happily. But what they didn't know was that the nightmare had just begun. One day, while the family was happily watching a game, Ada seemed to be called by something and snuck out alone. Ada seemed to see something and was instantly frouncing, her eyes reflecting a humanoid creature. The dog ran straight toward it, and Ada quickly ran back home, standing in front of the mirror, Seeing her own appearance, she began to doubt herself for the first time. During that time, Ingawa fell asleep holding Ada, but this time, Ada couldn't fall asleep, staring at the pictures on the wall. She began to question her past. In the kitchen, Maria and Peter were unusually intimate, just as Peter was about to take things further. He was directly rejected by Maria, but Peter was not willing to give up. <laughs> Maria realizes that things are falling apart, and is to obey Peter. She led him to the corner, and took the opportunity to lock him in the small dark room. Afterwards, Maria started to play the piano to cover up Peter's calls for help, but footsteps were heard from outside the house. Maria anxiously went to the door to check and unexpectedly found the door was already open. After confirming there were no abnormalities, she closed the door. Looking at her sleeping husband and daughter, Maria made an important decision. She came to the small dark room and said to Peter, in order to keep this heart one happiness, she still decided to get rid of Peter. Hearing these words, Peter also understood. Meanwhile, when Inga woke up and found the dog missing, he took Ada to the deep prairie to search. What he didn't know was that the dog had already been killed, and danger was slowly approaching him. When Maria returned home, she found her husband and daughter missing. But just as she walked out the door, she heard gunshots. Maria ran desperately towards the direction of the gunfire. It turned out that Ingawa had been shot by a half-sheep, half-human creature. This monster was now staring fiercely at Ingawa. Watching Ingawa fall, it slowly put down the gun and reached out to pull Ada away. But Ada hesitated. She looked at her father on the ground, 
tears in her eyes, Ingawa quickly grabbed Ada, but was too weak to pull her away. By the time Maria arrived, she only saw her husband's corpse. 